Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I'm excited to share with you a reveal or unbagging I should say of my new summer handbag. I'm really excited to bust into this. I have not seen this bag at all in person yet. So if you wanna see what I picked up for one of my summer bags this summer, definitely keep on watching. For those of you who might be new here, thanks so much for checking this out. I'm a full-time working mom. I have four young children and in my spare time, I really like making these videos on fashion, beauty, mommy lifestyle, in addition to kind of highlighting my experiences on Poshmark as well. So if those kind of things sound at all interesting, definitely check out my other videos linked down below. And please also consider subscribing. That'll totally help me out as well. So if you watch my channel for any time, you'll realize I am really handbag obsessed. That's probably the one item that I love picking up most. I definitely gravitate towards some of the designer and luxury handbags, as you've seen on this channel. But I also just love handbags in general. I buy handbags from everywhere, from discount stores, from Target, Walmart. Um, I love Dooney & Burke, as you'll see. I love a lot of different brands, especially contemporary brands as well, mall brands, just any kind of bag or purse. If I love the style and love the feel of the materials, I will consider picking it up. Um, I don't use them all just because I tend to collect a lot of different handbags, but I just love handbags in general. So I'm always excited when the new season starts to kind of pick up a new bag for the season or a few new bags for the season. It kind of gets me excited for that time of year and something fun to carry um, as well. So I want to share with you this bag. This is not a luxury brand, I'll say, but I think it is a kind of cool designer. And I'm going to unbox it for you first, and I'll tell you a little bit about it because I kind of first learned about this brand as I was doing some research for my reselling on Poshmark, actually, and came across this brand. So here's how it came packaged. So as you'll see, this brand is Patricia Nash. So this is how it came packaged. And Patricia Nash, um, as I'll talk about, is a brand of leather handbags in general. They, she also makes some fabric with leather trim handbags, but they resell for a lot. And I was realizing that as I was kind of doing my Poshmark research, and I said, oh, I need to check out this brand because it seemed that this is a good handbag line to consider picking up if you're a reseller out there. So the retail prices are pretty decent price points and the resale value actually holds its weight pretty well. So I wanted to check it out for myself and kind of see what I thought about this. So this particular bag, just so you know, I am not going to resell, at least right now. I fully intend to keep it for myself and if it works out for me, I think I'm going to keep it for a while. One of these days it may end up in my Poshmark closet if I need to kind of work through some of my old bags, but for now at least, this is my summer handbag, that's for sure. Okay, so let me go ahead and unbag it for you. Okay, so here it is. It's very nicely wrapped. All the tassels are wrapped like this. And I can tell the leather is just gorgeous. Okay. So the attention to detail is really nice. It has the tag here, Patricia Nash, it says. And it embraces social responsibility, conserves environmental resources, uses sustainable practices and materials, and builds stronger communities. So it is really nice in that sense. Here's the tag, if you want to see it. So it's Patricia Nash, and this is the Braided Stitch Collection. And this is a handcrafted bag that um, is called the Braided Stitch Clutch, I believe. And there's two sizes of this clutch available. This is the larger size, and it's called the Sanza, S-A-N-Z-A. The smaller version of this is called the Sora. Here is what the front looks like. I mean, that's just gorgeous. Look at that. The braided details are what really got me and the design of this bag. So this is a clutch style bag, which I don't have many of. And I was so excited to add this to my collection, especially for the summer months, because I just love the look of a handheld clutch. I think it's so ladylike, you know, going out to brunch, to lunch, kind of shopping. I think it's really cute for that. And I just love this design. Okay, so let me show you basically the outside first, and I'll take you on the inside. So as you can see here, it has a gorgeous woven leather on the front, and that's really what got me initially. I mean, that's just beautiful woven leather details. And it's not printed, it's actually truly woven. And this tassel detail is just gorgeous here. You can tell it's just a really beefy leather tassel. And then it has these D-rings on the side for a crossbody strap, which I'll show you in a minute, which is the other nice thing about how versatile this is. And it has a slip pocket in the back, which I think should be able to, actually, it's a magnetic snap not a slip there's a magnetic snap back there and I think this will be able to hold a cell phone for instance which is nice just against your body it has the Patricia Nash logo embossed here on the back 
and I just can't stop feeling this leather. It's just really beautiful leather. And then it has the other D-ring there. So, and I should say feet on the bottom. So just a really cute handheld bag. I'll do mod shots for you in a minute, but the top closure is a zipper. So that's pretty unique about this bag. And it has the um, Patricia Nash logo on them. So in general, clutches like this don't have the zipper, which is what I liked about this one. I think there's added security with this double zipper here. And then it comes with a dust bag. See there? And then the crossbody strap. So the crossbody strap is actually attached to the bag, so I'm going to go ahead and just remove it. Okay. And let me remove some of the stuffing in here. So you can just smell the leather with this kind of bag, and I just love that kind of leather smell, like the new car leather seat smell. Um, it's just gorgeous. So what I liked also about this bag is how organizational the inside is. So I'll take you through it. So again, it's the zipper entry, and then there is this uh, zipper pocket in the back, and the Patricia Nash label back here, like right there. And it has the zipper pocket on the back wall there, but it's kind of a triple compartment, as you can see here, because there is this big middle zipper, which is really nice, especially for clutch bags. It's often just a big empty pit in the inside, but here there's a zipper in the middle. And then the other side wall has a couple of slip pockets is really nice too. You can see that there. And the inside's this kind of suede, I think this is probably fabric lining here, but it's kind of a velvety, I should say, type of material. So this is going to be really functional for me, and it's a pretty decent size, so I could definitely carry, I think, all of my necessities at least. So I'm just looking it over here, but I am really happy with this bag. I think it's just gorgeous. So let me show you how I can wear this bag. I love the double zipper. Okay, so the first, um, and I probably will just take off this tag here. Okay, so the first way to wear this, of course, is how I mostly want to carry it, is this clutch style. So I love this type of clutch look. I think it's pretty unique to have the handles kind of inset in the bag here. Oftentimes, clutches will have a top handle or will just be kind of fold over just under your arm. But this is so unique, I think, to have the handle kind of built into the bag like this. So I love this look. So I'm probably going to carry it around like this most of the time, you know, just walking around, going to get brunch. Like I said, one of these days will be really nice. In general, I don't think you're able to wear it kind of in the crook of your arm, as you can see, unless you have a super skinny arm, which I don't. Um, but I think the point is to make it handheld, not for um, an arm clutch, just kind of a handheld bag. So I love this look, and that's really why I picked this bag up, just for this kind of look and style. It's very unique and very different. So. That's what I love about it. I also love how versatile it is. So it does have this crossbody strap, which is adjustable and also in leather. So you can just put it on the D-ring here. And let's see, it looks like there are several adjustable areas there. So I'll have to play around with the height or length a little bit. But just on the default setting here, I can show you. Of course, you can wear it like a shoulder bag with that. And then how I will probably do it as well if I need hands free to use it as a crossbody. So this is how it looks on me crossbody, if you can see. Um, this is a little bit on the lower side for me. I might make it a little bit higher, but um, I'm 5'4 in height, in case you're curious. But this is how it looks crossbody, kind of where it hits at the top here. But I probably would want to carry it a little bit higher, probably crossbody for me, so I'll adjust it. But overall, I think this is a pretty good look crossbody too. And I need this versatility because in general, like I said, I'm going to carry it like a handheld clutch. But of course, I have four kids. I'm running around all the time. So if I need to quickly sling it over my shoulder, I'm going to do that. <laughs> sling it over my body like this. So that's what's so nice about this bag. And that's how it looks in terms of scale. So yeah, this is a really cool functional bag, I think, and it's a really good size for me. If you need a little smaller one, again, they do make the smaller version, and that's called the Sora, if you want to check that out as well. Okay, so um, I want to tell you a little bit about the size, too, in case you're curious. So this bag is supposedly, according to the website, it measures 12 inches long, um, it measures 9 inches high, and 6 inches in terms of depth here. So a pretty decent size for a clutch. And I just love these kind of oversized clutches. I think they're a really cool look. But again, if you want a little smaller version, they make that as well. 
Okay, so I know this is a pretty quick video, but I just wanted to unbox this with you guys because I was so excited to get this in the mail the other day, and I have fallen in love. This is my first Patricia Nash handbag, but it's definitely a brand to keep on the lookout for if you're a reseller or if you just love handbags like I do. Um, I will say, first impressions, I'm really impressed. Um, it looks kind of like a designer bag, I would say, that I would spend a whole lot more money on. And in fact, I will say it is a designer bag, but it's not at the typical designer bag price point, I'll say, um, which is really nice. And the look of it is of amazing quality and the leather's just gorgeous. But most importantly, I just love the style. I mean, this is so unique. I own nothing like this bag, so I'm excited to add this to my collection. I'm excited to use it in these warm months, of course, just because I think the handheld clutch look is perfect for this time of year. In addition to this woven style of leather, I think it's really nice for the summer as well. So this is my summer bag. So if you've checked out Patricia Nash handbags, let me know if you like them and let me know if there are other styles you think I need to check out. Um, a lot of the styles I think don't really fit um, me necessarily, but this particular one just kind of screamed out at me, so I had to give it a try. Okay, well I'll let you know what I think of this as I start using it, and in the future, once I've used it for quite a bit, I will do a review in case you're interested in just kind of a detailed review, wear and tear, things like that. So again, if you like these kind of handbag videos, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button linked down below. I will do, be doing other handbag unboxings, no question. I also want to work on a lot more handbag reviews for you as well. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you're staying safe and healthy, and I will see you again in my next video. Bye!